Interactive Educational Magazine. The theme of this issue is winter. There are four seasons, winter, spring, summer and fall. To find out which season we're going to learn about, guess this riddle. I have many things to do. I'm a white blanket, covering the earth. I turn lakes into ice, and I paint the houses white. I am... As you've guessed, today we're going to talk about winter. Why does winter come? It's because of the movement of the Earth around the Sun. First, one side of the planet faces the Sun, and there it's summer, while on the other half of the Earth, it's winter, and then everything changes around. Let's look at a picture and see what winter is like. It's a beautiful winter's day. The snow is falling silently, with snowflakes glittering in the air like little white moths gently tumbling to the ground. Each snowflake is delicate, fragile and unique, like a beautiful white flower. And when the wind rises, the snowflakes dart in different directions, so you can't tell where the snow is coming from, whether it's from the sky or the ground. Everything is mixed up chaotically, and all you can see is a white veil. What can you see in the picture? Which two snowflakes are the same? Exactly! Here are the different seasons. During the summer and spring, the earth is full of sounds of life. Leaves whisper in the trees, the waves race and play in the rivers and streams, the fields overflow with all the different plants and flowers. The birds and insects chirp and cheep. Everything moves, breathes, and is happy in the heat and light. In the fall, nature is a less carefree and needs to get ready for winter. But in the winter, everything is different. All living things hide in the depths of the earth and are sleeping, waiting for the return of the sun. The trees are bare, many birds have flown away, and the ones that are left don't sing but fly by slowly through the cold air. Which picture shows winter? What's the difference between winter and the other seasons in the picture? Winter. Great! Match the summer and winter pictures to show how things change. Exactly! Winter is a great time of year to have fun. Look at the picture and say what you can do in the winter. Listen to this story about some children. It was a wonderful winter's day, and the children were all outside. Samantha wanted to make a snowman. Alice took her sledge and went sledging down the hill. Tom decided to go skiing and Darren and Jack played snowballs. It's lots of fun to be outside in winter. Give a number to each picture, showing the order they are mentioned in the story. Two. Very clever. Put the first letter of each thing you see in the pictures. Well done! Put the snowflake together. Awesome! Each season lasts for three months. Winter lasts for three months too. Winter begins in December. 
Winter is the twelfth and last month of the year, and the first month of winter. So in December, the year ends, but winter begins. You can have a lot of fun in the winter. You can make a snowman, for example. Make your own snowman. You really know everything. Put the different parts of the snowman together. Keep it up. Help the snowman find his friend. What's the right way? Awesome. In December, people celebrate Christmas. At Christmas, people decorate a Christmas tree and give each other presents. The second winter month is January. On January the first, in many countries, there is a holiday called New Year's Day, which falls exactly a week after Christmas. Decorate the Christmas tree, but watch out: some things don't belong on a Christmas tree. Great. Lots of Christmas trees growing in the forest. Find two that are the same. In December, lots of Christmas trees growing in the forest. Find two that are the same. Keep it up. Now try to hang Christmas decorations on the line. Only one shape doesn't go on the line. Great. Which star has more than five points? Now try to. Which star has more than five points? Excellent. How many toys are hanging on the Christmas tree? Count them and click on the right number. Seven. Awesome. Find six differences. Well done. The next winter months are February and March. In February, there are sometimes blizzards, and it often snows, sometimes for days. But in March. The days are a little longer, and the weather is a little warmer. Now you know the winter months: December, January, February, and March. December, you're the best. The first month on the new calendar, at the beginning of every new year. January, very clever. A hedgehog walking across the snow. The cold wind blows in the month of February. Awesome. In the forest in winter, you can often find tracks of animals and birds. Match each animal with its footprint. Excellent. In winter, some birds fly to warmer climates. They are called migratory birds. Others stay for the winter and are called wintering birds. Let's look at some wintering birds. Bullfinch. A bullfinch is a wintering bird. Bullfinches have a tail covered with thick feathers and a red breast. In the winter, bullfinches eat rowan berries, seeds, and the buds of plants. Owl. An owl is a large bird with big eyes, brown or grey plumage, and a hooked beak. Owls can see in the dark and have a keen sense of hearing. 
they fly in silence and can react instantly. This helps them hunt and escape their enemies. Pigeon. A pigeon is a bird that can often be found in the city. Pigeons live near people, in trees, or under the roofs of houses. Pigeons don't fly away for the winter. Woodpecker A woodpecker is a wintering bird. The woodpecker is sometimes called the doctor of the forest because with its sharp, long beak it tears the bark of trees and pulls out insects from under the bark with its tongue helping the trees not to get sick. In the forest, you can often hear a woodpecker working, banging loudly on a tree with its beak. Woodpeckers eat pine cone seeds, as well as insects. Blue tit A blue tit is a wintering bird. It has a black cap on its head. Its wings and tail are dark, and its breast is bright yellow. Blue tits are very mobile birds, hopping from branch to branch. They can hang upside down and can sit on even the thinnest twigs, thanks to their long, sharp claws. Crow A crow is a common wintering bird. Most of its body is grey, but its head, throat, Wings and tail are black. It feeds on small animals, food garbage and plants. Like pigeons, crows can sometimes live in buildings. Colour in the blue tit. Colour in the... Colour in the pigeon. Put the different parts of the birds together and say which birds you can see. You really know everything. Migratory birds are birds that fly away in the winter to warmer countries. Migratory birds fly each year from the place where they nest to the places where they spend the winter. They sometimes fly a long way away. Here are some migratory birds. Lark A lark is a small bird that lives on the ground. It doesn't jump along the ground, but hops. Larks nest near the ground, laying spotted eggs. They eat seeds and insects. Rook A rook is like a crow, only bigger. A rook's feathers are black with a purple tint. Adult birds have a long featherless beak. Rooks feed on worms and insect eggs, which they dig out of the ground with their long, strong beaks. They like to follow tractors ploughing the land. Cuckoo A cuckoo has a thin body, a long tail and strong legs. The cuckoo is a brood parasite, which means it lays its eggs in other birds' nests. Cuckoo chicks hatch and grow quickly, then chase the other chicks from the nest. The parents then end up only feeding the cuckoo chick. Swallow Swallows and house martins. They are small birds that feed on flying insects, which they catch as they fly through the air. Couples stay together all their lives. Swan A swan. Swans have either pure white, grey or black plumage. Swans differ from geese because of their long necks, which help them to find food deeper in the water, and because of their size, since they are the largest water birds. Starling A starling is a songbird. Starlings have black plumage with a metallic sheen. 
sometimes with a purple, greenish or bluish tint. You can see little white specks on their feathers in winter. Starlings can make many different sounds, such as whistles, squeaks, meows and various other noises. They can even imitate other birds. Nightingale A nightingale is an inconspicuous grey songbird. It spends the winter in Africa, where it lives in bushland in the river valleys. It builds its nest in bushes on or near the ground. A nightingale's eggs are a mottled green or blue colour. Heron A heron lives in shallow water in wetlands or in slow-flowing rivers and streams. Herons stand still in the water and peer down looking for things to eat. Listen to the birds' calls and match them to the right picture. Amazing! Try to solve these riddles about birds and choose the right bird. A migratory bird coloured black, flying back and forth, across the ploughed fields. The name of this bird is a... Rook. Just fantastic! I can sing and imitate most anything. I'm a... Woodpecker, swan, cuckoo, owl, starling. That's right. Try to solve. I can sing and imitate most anything. I'm a... Great! This bird never builds a nest for its chicks. Woodpecker, I can sing. This bird never builds a nest for its chicks. Owl, swan, cuckoo. Keep it up. I can sing. This bird never builds a nest for its chicks. Cuckoo. Exactly. I wear a red hat and you can hear me hammering on a tree. I'm a... Woodpecker. Keep it up. It's very hard for wintering birds in the winter. It's very difficult for them to find food, so people make special feeding places for birds called a bird feeder. They put seeds in the feeder so that birds don't die of hunger. Put some seeds in the bird feeder. You really know everything. In winter, a thick crust of ice sometimes covers ponds, rivers and lakes. In the deep silence on the riverbed, the fish are asleep. In the deepest place lies the catfish. Wide, flat bream live in schools without moving at all. It's hard for fish in the winter. The air can't pass through the ice into the water. It's hard for the fish to breathe, and they might die. So they make a hole in the ice. To make sure that the water doesn't freeze in the hole, the fish put bits of straw in it. Air passes down the hole, past the straw, and into the water. How many fish can you see in this picture? Count them and choose the right number. Five. Excellent! The snow maiden, Santa Claus, and the snowman have lost something. Help each of them find what they've lost. Headdress Magic staff Broom Just fantastic! How do plants and trees prepare for winter? 
deciduous trees lose their leaves. In the cold winter, the leaves don't have enough sunlight to make the substances they need to develop and grow, so the leaves fall off. Conifers, or evergreen trees, keep their leaves or needles for several years. The needles only fall off gradually as new ones grow. The needles are covered with a special substance that protects them from the cold so that they don't need to shed them. Con conifer Deciduous tree Most plants don't grow in the winter. But some plants, like strawberries, cranberries and wheat, can live under snow in the winter and even grow a little. For these plants, snow is like a blanket that covers them and stops them from freezing. Under the snow, these plants are quite warm and comfortable. The artist painted this picture in the winter, but he got the weather wrong. What's the problem? Find things in the picture that have the word snow in them. Find all the things you don't see in the winter. Spade Nest Which is the odd one out here? Bike River Keep it up! Match the things in the bottom row with the pictures at the top. That's right. In winter it's cold and you need to dress warmly. Choose the right clothes for Jack's winter walk. Pants Colour in the Christmas decorations. Now we've learned a lot about winter. Look at the pictures of all the seasons and say what makes winter different from the other seasons. Try to remember the names of the winter months. Winter Summer Fall Spring The End See you soon.